It is kindergarten. <laughs> Welcome back, and this is Guardian Wolf Kim, or Gaming Guardian, here. We are excited to do another day of kindergarten. The second day, to be precise. Let's see what we got. So, I'm assuming the 7 of 30 is outfits. And 10 of 50 Monster Monk cards, not bad. And we got one finished thingy, an A+. Plus. So, not too shabby. Let's move that mouse out of the way. Alright. Your Monster Mon collection is coming along great. Looks like you have enough cards to make a full deck. Neat. It is neat. Open up your Monster Mon collection and build a deck. When you have a full deck, you can challenge other kids to Monster Mon battles during recess. Cool. Nice. Okay. Monstrous Flytrap. Plant. Deal two damage. Reduce a blue Monster Mon's damage by three. Zen Octopus Beast deal 2 damage. Block a purple monster mob. Forbidden Book Artifact. Swap mana with your opponent. Block a purple monster mob. Purple Plush Magical. Swap HP with your opponent. Block a yellow monster mob. Onion Vegetable deal 2 damage. Block a yellow monster mob. Legendary Sword Artifact deals 6 damage. Lonely Dragon Beast deal 4 damage. Reduce any Monster Mon's damage by 1. Cyclops Duckling Beast deal 1 damage. Reflect a green Monster Mon. Carnivorous Nimbus Beast damage f deal 4 damage. Reduce any Monster Mon's damage by 1. Castle of Sand Artifact. Deal 3 damage, plus 2 damage if you have less HP. Reflect a red monster mod. Nice. Ooh, ready to battle. Well, I made a deck. Deck! Okay. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes. Okay. Uh, if I remember... Mission map. Tell two janitors. Yep, we're gonna go with you guys. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. What is? Are you blind? Look at this place. That other no-name janitor over there has really let his place go to crap. You don't know his name yet? What? No! But I guess I should learn if I'm going to draw up a... Kid, go find out his name for me now! Okay, jeez. Hey there, kiddo. I'm your friendly school janitor. What's your name? Oh, how rude of me. I'm Bob. Most of the kids around here just refer to me as the janitor anyway. You can call me that too if you like. What's his name? Come on! I got a declaration to draw up. It's Bob. So my nemesis has a name. Bob. Do you have a name? What? No! I lost it in the war. Which war? The best one. Which war is that? The one I was in! Haven't you been paying attention? Do you have a name? Um... That's what I thought, so let's stick to the guy whose name we do know. What are you gonna do to him? What the janitor's code of honor says I should do. Which is? I'm gonna kill him and take his bop. Seriously? You bet. Take this declaration of war and bring it to Bob. Return to me when it's done. This will be one for the history books. Guess it will be. Try not to have an asthma attack while voicing the janitor. Hello again, little buddy. What's going on? The other janitor want me to give you this. 
Oh, thanks. I'll read it when I get inside. Go ahead and tell him you delivered it. I'm really looking forward to working with him. I doubt that. Has it been delivered? Is war upon us? Yes. Excellent. My attack will be swift and sneaky. As soon as he's alone, his mop is as good as mine. I'll be sharpening my mop in the boys' room. Have fun with that. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Okay, kids. Teacher has a headache, so we're going to be very quiet. Looks like this school has more funding than the last one, since there are actually toys. Go play. Just please be quiet. Uh, what? What do you want? Um, never mind. Hey, you can leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. You need to use the bathroom. Well, too bad! I don't have a bathroom past this new school yet, so you'll just have to hold it. You don't look like you could stop me. I could still give you study hall. Apparently that's a punishment for stuff here. Go ahead. Oh, hello. Lovely weather we're having. Nugget likes the weather. Oh good, you're here. You're happy to see me? It's a weird feeling for me too. I need your help again, or else I'm fighting a losing battle here. What now? Bob is currently hiding like a coward upstairs. And since my hip is made of glass, I can't make it up those stairs. What do you want me to do about it? I need a key to the elevator. I'm sure that little black market cripple has one. You're the one who crippled him. And I'll do it again if that invalid doesn't give you that key. Tell him that and see if he'll give it to you. He's in the special smart class upstairs. Okay, then. Hold it up, new kid. You're only allowed to use the bathroom, nothing else. Only until we can distribute passbooks to you new kids now. Either go to the bathroom or go back to class. Passbook. We use passbooks instead of traditional passes here. Unless it's a special occasion, they'll be distributed soon. Thanks for the info. Now stop dialing and get back to class. Need to go upstairs. Too bad, unless an adult says so, you aren't allowed up there. You need to go to the bathroom or go back to class. No exceptions. But the janitor... If the janitor wants you to go upstairs, he can come and tell me himself. It's your funeral. Did you get me that key? The hall monitor stopped me. That grimy little power hungry, come with me! Hey, Hall Rat! You giving my little air boy trouble? Rules are rules, Mr. Janitor. If you want him to go upstairs, you just have to. Guess I could just beat you like I did the other kid. Then you would have an elevator key. Excuse me? I said I could beat you till they give you an elevator key. Hey, other hall monitor. Yeah, man, what's... Whoa, jeez, you totally wrecked Stevie. And I'll do the same to you if you even think about stopping this kid from helping me out today. Got it? No problemo. Do whatever you want, kid. There, it's taken care of. Go get me that key. I'll be waiting by the elevator. Okay, then. Eh. Leave Stevie alone. Do whatever you gotta do, man. Getting you in trouble isn't worth getting beat to death with a mop. Good call. What the? You're not supposed to be in here. You're a stupid kid. 
you have a key to the elevator? Of course I do. What do you think I got up here? The janitor wants it. The, um, the nice janitor? The other one. Uh, just, just bring it back when you're done with it. I can't get down without it. I'll try. What are you doing in here? You're not gifted in any way. Get out. Out, I say. That wasn't the right voice. That was the principal's voice. <laughs> Well, where's the key to this thing? Here. Well done, kid. Here's a walkie-talkie. I'll be in touch. Great. It is great. I'll let you know how the mission goes. We ride to war! Let him ride to war. Good cough, go to lunch. I don't think you can make me. <laughs> Please go. Oh. Honor the wishes of a dying child. Oh, that is sad. Hey, kid, come in. What now? Things got a little or I'm sticky. Get up here now. I'm at lunch. Yeah, well, it'll be your last meal if you don't get up here right now. I don't think I'm allowed to leave. But well, one of the new kids in there must have a way to get you out. Get up here now or I'll have another body to clean up. Okay, jeez. You're the one. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? How do I get out of here? Looking to cause some trouble, eh? I could draw the lunch lady's eye away from the door for a fee. Do it. You got it, kid. This won't last long, so get out while you can. Got it. Hey, Miss Margaret, look at me. Please, child, settle down. Return to your seat immediately. Hey, oh, it's you. Yeah, I guess I'll let you buy so I don't end up like him. It's for the best. Eh, hey, don't talk to Monty. Finally! Jeez, kid, you move slower than a kid who was knocked out of a tree under suspicious circumstances. I'm here. What do you want? Well... In case you hadn't noticed, I want the war. Congratulations. I appreciate the support I've had from all of my allies. That's you, kid, which means we're going to have to clean up this together. Clean up? Well, yes, I am the only janitor. It'd be nice to have some help around here. You just killed your help. That's not true. You're my help now. Although there is still time for me to kill my help, so keep that in mind. Okay, so what do we do? Gonna get started bopping up his blood. You run down to the weapons closet and give me something to slice up old Bob here with. Weapons closet? Yeah, place where we janitor store weapons. It's in the boys' bathroom. You gonna slice him up? Of course, look at him. He's a big boy. Normally I don't deal with big ones because it's hard to remove the bodies. So go find me a cleaver or a chainsaw or something. Okay, I guess. Here's the key. Old Bob's here. Is learning how to share now that I've won the war. I'll be back. Goodness, I'm going to have to check into rehab. Rehab at the. Nope. Nope. Nobody. Nope. Nope. This is the door to the janitor's closet. It's locked. Unlock the door. feeling if I don't yeah I have to come back and do this run again to get the monster monk card about time what'd you get me chainsaw perfect let's get slicing oh look at 
Looks like you gotta skedaddle. I'll be in touch. Can't wait. Oh, before you go, here, take his head. You've earned it. Great. Now let's get you to study hall. Okay. Well, well, well. Look at all the bad children. I expect you all to behave until recess is over. Please, take this time to reflect on how to be less awful in the future. There should be no talking or moving until the bell rings. Is that clear? Love a bunch. We'll see if it lasts. Ugh. Cough I had during lunch is running right through me. I'll be back in a moment. Do not move or talk while I'm gone. Hey, kid! Come here, kid! We got a problem. Where are you? Study hall. You gotta hide that head right now. Find a garbage can and chuck it. There's one in the mess hall. What are you talking about? It's that little penny girl. She's been following you all day. You gotta hide that head. Stop her from getting up here. How do you know that? Some kid in a hoodie just came up here and dropped an envelope on the floor. He had pictures and everything. He's been following you, kid. What do I do after I throw out the head? See if there's some way to trip her up on the stairs on your way to the can. Get her to fall and break her head open. You're in that stupid class. Maybe one of those toys will do the trick. I'll see what I can do. There's a couple of toys in here. There's a doll and a toy car. Uh, toy car. Look who it is. You're not supposed to be out of study hall. What are you doing here? Oh, well you missed it, silly. Here, I'll escort you there myself. Uh, thanks. Uh... Okay, so don't say the bathroom. actually looking for him myself. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. He's upstairs. Thank you for telling me. Now go on back to study hall. I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Okay then. Just heard. What I could only assume is an evil little girl falling down the stairs. It would seem so. Good work, kid. You remind me of me when I was your age. Thanks. Think. Now get back to study hall place. That mad scientist looking fellow probably doesn't like it when students escape from there. Good idea.
My apologies. Good to see you're all behaving. Ah, there's the bell. Anyone who pays their lab fee can come with me to science. Otherwise, head over to the gym. I don't have any money. Ugh, my life is ruined. Can't actually get worse. What are we doing here? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Go run laps or bounce the orange ball or something. Guess we can do that. I'm gonna go stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. Wouldn't expect anything less. Hey kid, come in kid! Now. We're almost home free. I just need a little help with some of the um, heavy lifting. You want me to carry out Bob's body? Oh no, he's much too heavy for a small worthless child like you. I need you to carry out that power hungry hall monitor I tenderized this morning. That's not really my specialty. So you want to carry Bob instead? Fight by me. No, I'll take Stevie. Good. I lift him in the weapons closet. Meet me out by the dumpster behind the playground and we'll toss him in together. If I must. This bag looks like it could fit Stevie in it. Take the bag. It's getting really hard to breathe in here. I'm not sure how much longer I can last. Okay. Finally! You had me worried, kid! No way I'd be able to move all these soup poor corpses by myself! Yeah, this is great. He didn't break the body, right? Yep. Good. Now we just need to toss him at the dumpster and this is all over. Good. What the? It's locked! Who locks the dumpster? We gotta get it open somehow. We need... <laughs> hey, kid! Did you hear that? Or the voice is my head getting a little too vocal again. I heard it. Huh, I think someone is in there. We gotta get him out. Any ideas? I'll think of some. It's a dumpster. It sounds like someone's laughing. Bang on the dumpster. <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, great. A dumpster woman. Everything was going so well. What do you nice people want? Do you want to give me some food? We just need to use the dumpster, you old hag. Well, there will be a price to pay. I need something. Something more special than food. What do you need? I'm running out of this delicious green drink. You wouldn't happen to have any green goo on you. That penny girl normally has some. Oh, we have any of that. That's gross. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Well, until you come back with some green goose, dumpster stays locked. Ta-ta! Curse you, dumpster hag. She's got a speak, kid. Without that goo, I'm going back to prison. Why don't you just kill her, too? Spoken like a dumb kid who's never taken with a dumpster woman before. That's a mistake you only make once. I'm gonna find some goo. Glob. Bang on dumpster. Oh, are you back with my green goo? Yes. Oh, delightful. Go right ahead and dump whatever suspicious items you need to. Thanks, dumpster hag. My pleasure. You boys have a nice day. 
<laughs> well done, kid. Looks like we're gonna get away with this. I'm thrilled. There's the bell. Looks like it's time for you to go home, my little apprentice. Go ahead and leave the body here. I'll do the rest. Leave the body. Hey, kid, wait up. Phew, almost missed you. Please don't kill me. Kill ya? I ain't gonna kill ya. Well, not today at least. So what do you want? For your dedication and service today, I would like to bestow upon you the spoils of war. What are you talking about? I've got some good stuff off Bob's Bobo's body. Some cash, a watch, some kind of medication, and this. What is it? It's a tool belt. I don't fix nothing around here anyway. You could also have this thing from that silly card game you kids play. Little guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay, thanks I guess. Now scat! If a parent sees me talking to a child, I'm going back to prison. Yeah, now's a good time to leave. Bob's tool belt. Strict sash. Lamb with cleaver. Okay. Well. Help! Nugget is trapped! How'd you get down there? Nugget was searching for a suitable place for the new Nugget Cave. So you crawled through a sewer grate? No! Nugget was searching for a suitable place to dig. By the tree next to the handicap ramp, the ground started to shake. There was a cave in. Your handicap? People seem to think so. Right. So what should I do? Find help! Ask a teacher, a janitor, a principal. Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here. Okay, okay. Hey there, kiddo. I'm your friendly school jandler. Nugget is trapped in the grate over there. Oh no, that's terrible. If only I had my trusty tool belt, I could get him out of here. Go tell the principal. She'll know what to do. I have your tool belt. You found it? That's wonderful. Hold on, strange child. Bob is coming to save you. I'm gonna get you out of there. Just hang in there. Remember to breathe. Nugget knows how to breathe. Nugget does not know how much longer he can stay down here. Get to nugget out. This will just take a second. Got it. There you are, little friend. Don't go crawling around underground anymore, okay? Nugget fully intends to crawl underground again. Nugget needs a new nugget cave. Well, uh, just be careful with that. Here, take this, large janitor man. It is a nugget of friendship. Oh, thank you. I'll see you around, little friend. That was a very nice thing we just did. I'm sure your little friend would like to thank you for your help. Maybe he does. Nugget has been saved. The very nice janitor came and let poor Nugget out. You're welcome. Nugget does not understand. Should Nugget be giving you thanks? I told him to get you out. Nugget does not believe you. Nugget does not trust you to be his friend. I want to be your friend. What is your offering? I only have friendship. Nugget does not need your friendship. Nugget has friends now. Who are your friends? Nugget's friend's Billy was rescued yesterday. Nugget's friend has returned. Where is he? Nugget knows, but Nugget will not say. Only friends of Nugget may know where other friends of Nugget are. That seems silly. Nugget does not think it is silly. Nugget does not care what you think anyway. I can get you a flower. Nugget likes flowers. Come show Nugget the flower. Find Nugget a flower.
This is a blue flower. Take the flower. Oh, the flower is quite pretty. How could Nugget have missed it? I don't know. Nugget accepts this offering. Nugget will give you a chance at friendship. So what do I have to do? Normally Nugget would make you find the five nuggets of friendship, but they have not been hidden at the school yet. What's the alternative? Well, Nugget could use some help building his new Nugget cave. The last time Nugget tried, didn't go so well. What do you need? Nugget will tell you. Follow up Nugget back towards the exit of the failed Nugget cave. Okay. The first of the things Nugget needs from his plan is a lighter. Nugget needs a lighter brought into the school. You say Nugget a lot. Keen observation. Has Nugget's potential friend also noticed the green of the grass and the blue of the sky? Are you being sarcastic? Nugget is being Nugget. Of course you are. Has Nugget's potential friend found a lighter for Nugget? I'm still looking. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get a lighter. Yep, I'm dead. Hey, I'm Ted. That's nice, Ted. I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you, and... I know. It's just... I didn't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... <clears throat> How long have you been listening to our little chat? Not long. Good. I wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Hey, why would I get in trouble? I do anything. Which is just so typical for you, Teddy. Uh, I'll just save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why are you in on Felix's plan? Because he's a good-for-nothing disgrace to my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. 
Maybe I can explain better during more time. I'll be in the regular class. The stupid class. Uh, the stupid class. If you want to talk then... Okay, see you then. Okay, cool. I can't wait to get started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with one part and I'll tell you the rest during morning time, okay? Okay, what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna need to distract Ozzy during morning time. Talk to him and see if you can figure out what will draw his attention. Okay. I'm gonna need someone who I can stage a fight with. Probably a girl, although with the rezoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the uh, dumb class. I know a dumb girl. Teddy, you can't pull this off. I'll handle it. Let it go. I'm gonna try. You'll see. Destruction. He's so cool. Or used to be. His battery ran out. Now the new kid like you cares. Or any other batteries. Nah, no, that's why you new kids are selling them. Until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. This new school is so much more my style. Especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? Ted wants your help with something. Ooh, how forward. I've only been here for like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Yeah, wow, amazing. Well then, he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes it find its way into another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. He'll get right on it. So is there a girl you can set me up with? Yep. Ew, why did you give me some chewed up gum? Stick it in a girl's hair. What? That's so mean. But my plan... Will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? I think so. Okay. I guess I'll just stick this in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? No! Uh, I mean, Carla is mean sometimes. She deserves gum in her hair more than Penny. Okay, go do it. <sighs> I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done anything. Oh... So that's how it's going to be. Well, you just made yourself one into me, Ted. I'd watch your back if I was you. I'm really sorry, but I have this really elaborate plan to... Get away from me! Oh, man. She seems really mad. I feel terrible. This is your plan. I know, but... Can you just go over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. And see what I can do. Oh, that was wonderful. You're going to be an excellent boyfriend. Yeah, okay. It's all coming together. I'll see you in morning time. Good grief, Teddy. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work. You'll see. Ugh, what the heck is wrong with Ted? He just came up and stuck gum in my hair. Anything I can do to help? That's nice, kid. I appreciate it. I can use some scissors to cut this crud out of my hair. Where can I get those? Upstairs, but since you're in the less gifted class, it'd probably be easier for you to get them at lunch. Okay. Thanks, kid. Here's a vending machine coupon. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to use the machine anymore after I started counterfeiting these. Cool. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Go to class. Okay, kids. Teacher has a headache. So we're going to be very quiet. Looks like the school has more funding than the last one since there are actual toys. Go play. Just please be quiet. Oh good, you're here. Felix has the scheme that's going to help our family company, but I have a better one. No one wants to listen to it. What is it? I'll tell you, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone. Felix would be so mad if his plan gets ruined and it's my fault. I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Why Ozzy? Well, you see, um, Felix said it's because... I actually don't know, but I think it has something to do with our inheritance. Your inheritance? Yeah, Felix and I are going to be getting a large sum of money when we turn 18. Felix is a dumb kid like me won't know what to do with it. Maybe he's right. Say that. Thanks, I appreciate that. 
So how do we kill him? Well, I want to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're going to need a long distraction, I figured. We could pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention and you could grab it. Let's get that inhaler. Right, but first we should handle Ozzy. You got a, something to distract him with? Yep. Good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with Destruction. Go give him that battery and then we can talk to Cindy. Right. Ha! Huh. Nugget is present! No, Nugget is late. So you're getting study hall. Oh dear god, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave. Why did you... Ugh. Never mind. Do you want to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. If you insist, go ahead and play or do whatever it is that you do. Nugget likes the fidgety spinny. That's nice, Nugget. Structure was the best toy in the toy box. My friends and I used to play with them all the time before you new kids came in. Was it the best toy? Yeah, but now he's out of battery. No friends, no toys. You kids are worst. You can have the battery. Whoa, really? Thanks. Maybe you aren't so bad. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. I'll see you around, kids. See ya. Ozzy out of the way, we're ready to make our move. When we start this distraction, be ready to grab that inhaler. Let's do this. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff in there that might be worth grabbing. Like money? No, no, no. The money is in my cubby. Felix is to the right of Ozzy's. Got it. Anyway, let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. We need you to cause a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I only do something like that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend. Yeah. Remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my kind of date. Are you ready to go, then? He is. Yeah. Let's go. Be ready to grab that inhaler, kid. Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along. I've done this a million times. Play along with what? This doesn't... How dare you! Ow! Hey, that hurt! You're a jerk! Well, there's more where that came from. Hey, Cindy, stop! Knock it off right now! kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're getting study hall for this little incident. It was worth it. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. I got it. Awesome. You're really good at this. Thanks. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him out? Ozzy is a bit particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch. There's a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Okay, then. Attention, new kids. Here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. Oh, thank God. That's the bell. Get out of my classroom and go to lunch. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just going to show the new kid here the, where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Okay. Felix can't know that we're doing this. I want to do it just the two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. Okay. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave and use the bathroom. 
You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to the stall and wait for him. Okay, geez. Oh, Felix is watching. Here's a fork so we don't look suspicious. Uh, thanks. Also, did you talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? She wants scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. What are you doing? You cannot leave. <clears throat> what are you doing? You cannot... No, that's not the right voice. What are you doing? Hmm. What voice did I use? What are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. That is... Why can't I remember her voice? Hello, child. Nothing. Yes, kid. Believe it or not, I do occasionally do my job. Good for you. No kids allowed in the teacher's rounds. Go finish your lunch. You need to get in there. I don't care what you need. I'm not moving unless there's a monitoring emergency. Monitoring emergency? Yes, a monitoring emergency. I deal with them on a daily basis. You never know when delinquency or tardiness will strike. Okay. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? It's fine. That's not... How do I get out? Okay, but I actually kind of missed the slot. Me too, Bugs. I can't believe none of the new boys want to sit with me. We're still stuck hanging out with these two losers. No one my girlfriend would sit next to me. My best friend would sit across from me, but no. We can't have that anymore. Stupid new kids. Oh, I haven't eaten yet. Oh, I'm a mistake. Please tell me how to mark your passbook. Here you go. Here you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome. Hey man, you need a pass to be out here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I have one. Oh, bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Back it up, kid. You pass through the bathroom, not upstairs. I can't let you go up there. What can I do so you'll let me up? Hmm. Well, that little narc took my cigarettes this morning. You wouldn't happen to have something to smoke, would you? I do. Whoa, this is even better than cigarettes. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Restart lunch. Okay, we're gonna skip all this. Da 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 da. Da da da.
What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come on. Okay, well, I gotta restart now. So I need to give him the grass. stall use it every day come out right now not done yet unacceptable everyone knows this is my stall now hurry up and finish just use the other one the other one i'd rather die than die ah you haven't heard the last of this kid bye ozzy okay hopefully i don't get killed or something by getting these scissors Thanks for the hookup and everything, but you do gotta get going, bro. Get going. Have you seen Mighty Heller? I thought I left it in my cubby, but it's not there. Haven't seen it. Darn it! Good thing I keep a backup in my locker upstairs. I'll just use that if anything happens. Did you hear that? He has another inhaler. Darn it! Well, he definitely seems stressed. I take it you made it so his stall on time yep good we continue the plan then we just need to adapt a little how so we've got some things to do one is to find the green flower that ozzy is highly allergic just seeing one should be enough to freak him out or can i get one there's a few around the school i know one grows back by the dumpster i'll be back with it green flower Wow, you are good. So now we just have to get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How do we do that? There's only one person that could get us into that locker, and I put gum in her hair this morning. Oh no. Well, let's see if we can smooth things over with her. Maybe she'll forgive me. Hope so. Get in line, gringo. It's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. Good job for you. Is that so? Why would I be so inclined to help the kid who put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty success. Shut it, snob. Did you get those scissors I asked for? Yep. Good. At least I got that going for me. So will you help us? Ugh, I guess. If you do one more favor for me, which is... You see that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making some moves on my turf today. I gotta show him not to do that. How? Here's a screwdriver. See to it that his wheels are less than optimal. We can do that. No way. He'll see us. There's two of you. One of you pretend to buy something from the little fence, while the other sneaks behind him and pops out a screw. It's not that complicated. We got this. Good. Come see when it's done. We'll do. Uh, guess we have to do this. We have to further disable a cripple. I feel sick. I'm trying to kill another kid. That's different. I know Felix is a good reason for... Never mind. Let's just get this over with. Right. Before we do, if you want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I doubt he'll be in the mood after we ruin his day. What do you mean? For the last part of my plan, you have to go to science instead of gym. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, heh. Inhaler. Yeah, I could take that. I'll give you $2 for it. Deal? Deal. How's your doing business with you? Anything. Are you ready to unscrew this chair? I'm right now. Okay. I'll go pretend to buy or sell something. Just try to make sure he doesn't get hurt too bad, okay? I'll do my best. Should I remove a screw from Monty's wheelchair? Yes. chair this sucks 
Why is this happening to me? Oh my. I, uh, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're, um, not on the floor. Just get out of here! Well done. Okay. A deal's a deal. I'll see to it that Ozzy's locker is open by the time you get to it. Can you grab the inhaler for us? That's not part of our deal. You only said the locker. You're gonna have to grab whatever you want out of it by yourself. Okay. I feel pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure it was. It's almost time to do the actual job. Are you ready for your big moment? What do I have to do? Well, the bell rings, pay the lab fee, and go to the science. That's where Ozzy goes after recess. Then what? Once you're there, cause a distraction, sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of his locker. Once you have it, show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Sounds like a plan. Felix and I will meet you after school. If all goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Finally, just one more class and then I get to go home. Anyone who wants to pay the lab fee can go to science classroom. Everyone else meet in the gym. Go to science. Welcome to science class. Today will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. Notice how it's neither carnivorous nor po or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under one of the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Go do some science. That plant isn't going to observe itself. I can't believe we don't get to do show and tell. Hey, what's that? What? That pretty flower you have. Can I have it? Only if you help me. Help you? I guess I could do that. What do you need? I need a distraction. I don't know. Dr. Danner seems smarter than Miss Applegate. Probably won't fall for any old distraction. You're gonna need something big. Like what? Gosh, boys are stupid. Just look at the place. I'm sure there's something you can use. Maybe by the computers or something. I'll see what I can do. I could have changed the lesson plan if I had gotten to this book sooner. Walk away. Box of slides, and examples on the view of them under the microscope. This is an electro outlet. I can probably use be used to create a distraction under the right circumstances. Stick the fork in the outlet! Yes! <laughs> Don't stick forks in electro outlets. This applies to your life, too. <laughs> Okay, observe the plant, yeah, it's, they're cowards. I should tell Cindy. Boop, 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 boop. Well, what's your big distraction idea? We're gonna use the electrical outlet. Electrical outlet, how's that gonna create a distraction? Stick this in it. What's that going to do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that flower before I do anything. I could get in trouble, but it'll be worth it if for something pretty. Okay, here. Oh, giddy. Get ready to run. Here comes the distraction. I'm ready. Hey, Dr. Danner. Look what I'm doing. What? Wait, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains I removed. Okay, nobody move. I'm sure the power will be back on soon. Give me that flower. Before I cover the she still has the fork and the flower. Take the flower. Take the inhaler. Huh? Hey kid, you can't be out of class. Get back in there. Oh man. Oh, look who's back. I'm terribly sorry that plants in the dark wasn't interesting enough for you. I forgive you. 
please take this laser blast that faces a token of my regret. No, thank you. Uh, get back in the classroom before the lights come back on. Okay. Dang it. Ah, oh, there we go. Everyone get back to doing science. Go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Check out this plant. Ah! No! Get that away from me! Yeah. I think I'm having an asthma! Give us some room, damn it. Ozzy, we've been over this. Where's your inhaler? Yeah, in my uh, locker. Please hurry. Well, Ozzy, I have some bad news. It's not there. So it looks like you're going to die here. But don't worry, it won't be in vain. If you sign on the dotted line here, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. I'll just forge it for him. It's what he would have wanted. Good news, everyone. I've suddenly come into possession of a cadaver. Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. I just noticed the body count of today's class has been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. <laughs> wow. We are murderous. There he is, Phoenix. I told you he would do it. I, I didn't see Ozzy come out of the school. Did you really do what my brother is suggesting? Yep. Fascinating. Um, well done, then. It's exactly what I wanted. Yes, exactly. I knew we could do it. And we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure Father will be quite proud. Give him his reward. Give him the thing. Oh, yes. Um... Here you are. What is it? It's a pin from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally of our family. Cool. Say, Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be a minute? I just need a moment to talk to our new friend here. Sure thing, Felix. Before I go, take this monster mark card. It looks kind of like Ozzy did before he, um... Bye. Stressed llama. Oh dear. What a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy wasn't supposed to die. You didn't want Ozzy dead? Goodness, no. I wanted Ted dead. Why? Perhaps we could discuss the matter tomorrow. Perhaps. Excellent. Good day to you, Hitman. Good day. Hitman. Yay! Prestigious pin! Day number five, and we're gonna quit. Call it a day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things, and comment. Give me some suggestions on other games you'd like me to play. Until next time, bye!